Welcome to Steak and Eggs Podcast, episode six. Six. I am Tectone, joined by Emru and Asmund Gold, your host, and I have a story to tell. We're live? Yeah. Oh, okay. We just went straight into that. <laughs> yeah. I, I did no know. countdown or anything. Yeah, I had no idea. Okay, hi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. wow. Story to tell. Yeah, you couldn't tell we went live because I was dead on this couch. Yeah, so I yeah. walk in here, I thought Tectone was asleep because he was laying down on the couch and he was like, Emmy, I recognize those pajamas anywhere. And I was yeah. like, are you good? Like, I thought he was like sick or like didn't sleep at all or something. Okay, so what happened was, is that I am a streamer where I'm trying to do some cool shit. Okay, so uh, my buddy Senny had an idea that we go boxing. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. What's the worst that could possibly happen? A okay. lot. Well, let's so, find out. Yeah. So we start training. We do about two hours of training with my homie Bryce. Uh, we have this coach down at the gym that we did Camp Canute at. And uh, we're, we're already gassed, like, before we even start. Okay. We were supposed to only do three one-minute rounds, but instead chat bullies us in doing five one-minute rounds. Right. Okay. First round, I have a game plan. Okay. I'm going against Sunny. Similar height, similar weight, similar reach. I'm like, okay, right. I have a plan. I'm going to get him gassed first. Uh -huh. First round, I don't do nothing. I just keep my guard up. I take one shot in the stomach. He lands no punches on me. I get one shot on him right in the stomach from what I remember. I don't know. You'll understand why I don't remember entirely right. at the end of the story. Okay. Second round, he's gassed. So I start unleashing hell on right. this guy you ever seen neji from naruto no okay well he has this ability called eight trigrams 64 palms okay <laughs> so i hit seti so hard in the face that his mask gets reversed i go behind him mm -hmm. he starts saying where did he go where did he go and i whisper in his ear behind you and then he like gets jump scared turns around and sees me and i don't punch him in the back of the head because only a real dickhead would punch somebody in the back of the head so i let him get his helmet strained on and we go to the next round third round pretty even he punches me in the nose i don't have a guard on my nose he does because he didn't have one big enough for me uh pretty even fight round four i viscerally annihilate him it's two two final round starts right okay he's gassed i'm gassed but i said screw it i'm gonna go for a knockout Right. Okay. I start charging him like a bull. Uh-huh. Like three hits to the face. Boom, boom, boom. Immediately. Oh, He's like shit. cowering in a corner. In the corner. Hit him again. But I hit him and his nose guard goes above his eyes. Okay. So now he can't now see. Now he can't see again. He can't see okay. again. <laughs> Two times. So his natural reaction starts swinging like a maniac. I try to back off so he can fix his helmet. Right. And when I go to back off, sucker punches me in the back of the neck. Oh, my God. Immediately. Like, oh, my God. It's like my vision went, like, black. Yeah. Like, immediately. And in my back, it's like, you ever see, like, a Mortal Kombat? You mean like the movie from like the nineties? Or like like well, there the was one recently too. Yeah, the, I've like, seen them. Like, yeah, the, like the game. When you go with the like they go for like the fatalities and yeah. like like Sub Zero like knees someone in the face and then it goes poof, zooms on another uh -huh. skeleton and their nose explodes. My back. And my neck went like. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Because like he punched my head so far forward. It's like I got free chiropractic. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. I have not experienced pain like that ever, bro. Fuck that. Man. Dude. It, fuck that. It was bad. Uh, but then Bryce took me home. And I'm all good. Talked to a doctor. We're all good. Dude, that's why one. even for game day, I don't go all in. I would box, though, but I, I'd have to box someone that was, like, around the same size, same weight as me. Yeah. But I, I've talked to, like, um, Valkyrie said she would box me, and then I think I would box, like, Lily Pichu. And then besides that, like, I don't know. I'd be too scared to box anyone I would, else. I would love to watch you box. That'd be funny as hell. That would be hilarious. I don't, think, be, yeah. I don't know if I would even train for it. Like, I feel like it's fine. Cause it's yeah, like, that's a, yeah, it's yeah, fine. It's fine. It's a just meme not. anyway, so just let it let it be what it is. Now, boxing's scary and dangerous. Like, didn't, like, Disguise Toast um, after boxing at Ludwig's thing, he, like, can't sleep anymore or something? There's, what? like, some sort of concussion thing, yeah. What the hell? Oh my god! Yeah, but, the, but there is a big difference for like boxing and like weight classes. Like for example, like when you box at like 80, 90 pounds, you're like throwing paper at each other. Okay? Yeah, it's like you know getting hit. Okay, by. well I'm not 80, 90 pounds, all right, but are I'm you, a close to there. Are you about that? I'm a what? Yes. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm 80, 90 pounds. You're very small. No, I'm like a hundred and three. Hundred and three, really? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. I, don't I mean, know. It, it like fluctuates, but around there. I'm, I'm so I'm two and a half of you. No. Oh, shit. Because I'm two forty, bro. Yeah. <laughs> how much you weigh? I'm like hundred and forty. You're hundred and forty. Wait, how tall are you? I don't know. I'm pretty tall. I'm six six three, somewhere around there. Wait, that's crazy. Wait, that's actually insane. Wait, you weigh forty pounds more than me, and you're like a foot taller than me. Yeah. That's probably fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I probably. used to be. I used to be a hundred and eight pounds. What? what? Right. Wait, how how old were you? I was like twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, so you were like you were like an undead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh my God, you I had will the forsaken. That's so bad. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Fuck. I'd say I'm still pretty skinny now, but like a year ago, I was like ninety ninety five pounds, and that was, like, that was like too skinny. Dude, I was three hundred and thirty like last year. Goddamn. Yeah, I was a I was a big boy. Oh, you got Camp Canute now. Yeah, Camp Canute. Problem solved. Dude, Camp Canute changed my life. Because I've lost, uh, yeah, I guess from Camp Canute and dieting since Camp Canute, I've lost 90 pounds so far, which I've been really, really, really happy Good about. Good shit. Yeah. That's I, huge. Yeah, I got I to gotta lose more. I got to lose more. But I'm on the right track. Uh, but yeah, like when you box and you're like two, 300 pounds, like people are throwing nukes at each other. Okay? Yeah, I would not want to do that. Like literally, it is, it is awful. Yeah, like, I didn't realize apparently... Some things in life are just easier when you're small. Like, I would be doing that shit. Like, apparently this is hard where, like, you sit on your knees and then you, like, jump to your feet. I was doing that. And I was doing that because as fan did that, people were like, oh, that's so crazy. And they're like, it's different when you're, like, a tall guy. And I'm like, yeah. oh, oh, it's, like, not cool when I do it. Oh, yeah. Like, like for example, like, when it's a like person. It's, like, tough on the body. Like, I mean, you remember when you were a kid? Like, where, like, the skinny kids could do, like, pull-ups like it's nothing. And then, you know. The fat kids they can't do shit they man. could they would just sit there they would hang <laughs> that's, yeah. that's me now it. i can't do pull-ups or anything yeah they finally caught up because you're getting old you know yeah, your bones are brittle at this age yeah i don't know I, fe I feel like kind of i haven't tried to do a pull-up probably in like 20 years so i don't know what it would be like mm -hmm. but i remember i used to be able to do 20 so probably now i can do zero well maybe we should find out oh my god maybe we should do the fitness gram pacer test Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, you, oh you don't want to go to the gym? Yeah, you guys had that at high school, the fitness gram? Yeah. I think, oh, yeah, of course. I think everyone in oh America had that. That's a U.S. only thing, right? Yeah, it was a yearly thing where I just felt like an absolute piece of garbage. I'm going to be honest. Like, I was one of those people running until the end of the class. Me too. Yep. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, when, so when did it all start going wrong? Uh, whenever I started playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think about it and it's like, yeah, I used to be really active. I used to go out and do this, do that, et cetera. And I would always think about like, well, when did that change? 2006, the, the year I started playing WoW. That's what it was. That's the same for me with Absolutely. You know what's crazy? What? The best decision you ever made. Absolutely. Not even a question. Yep. yep. Great idea. 100%. Yep. And I, I firmly believe that. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you guys think about uh, Streamer Awards this year? Well, I got one. I thought they were great. Yeah, I thought it was great. You did great best show. MMO streamer, and you did not show up. Two years in a row. Except it. Yes, That's for right. us, the streamer awards happened uh, two days ago. Yep. I yeah. would I would love to break it down what I thought. I have a lot of opinions about this. Go ahead. I'd like to start from the beginning. First of all, shout out to Ari at home. Oh, my God. My heart and soul went out for him. When he was doing his performance, all of his tech didn't work. And he had to improvise. Did you, did you just see that? I think, okay, so in person, it seemed completely fine. I also heard that, like, some of the other singers, like, some something sounded a little off. In person, it sounded completely fine. I couldn't tell yeah. at all. No, online, it sh it it wasn't bad. It should have been for what he had to deal with. None of his tech worked so, at all. So what wasn't working? Like, his so, like, microphone? He, could, he couldn't, like, loop. He couldn't bass. Like, all of his improvised, like, freestyle, because he, he does a voice line. He catches it, and then he repeats it, and he loops it, makes a beat out of it. He couldn't do any of that. So uh -huh. usually he, he records, makes it loop, but he had to do that himself the entire time for the for the performance. Oh my god, wow. dude! Like yeah, in person, I I couldn't tell at all. Yeah, it was just it was fine. Yeah, 100, in, 100%. in person, all the musical performances were were really good. He fine. he recovered so well. Like he literally had a nightmare disaster situation happen live in front of the biggest audience I've ever been in front of. But like, dude, That's like sucks. my heart went out to him. Like he he put so much into that, and I, and I really hope people recognize like how horrifying that was and how well he actually did yeah, I actually how are the awesome. how are the other ones charming uh, joe was hilarious Charming, oh yeah joe's great and then yeah. uh nikki taylor and young gravy perform is there one that i'm missing i think i think so them. yeah, uh, yeah like, young gravy I, I didn't watch too. the whole thing i only 
I pretty much only watched the part that I was in, and then like, and then you the other. Yeah, I was like, all right, okay, cool. So I, yeah, I gotta go now. Yeah, I, I tried watching the whole thing, uh-huh. and then I was told, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> not supposed to do oh, yeah, that. You got in trouble? Did you? You didn't know though, right? No, I didn't know. So what happened was, is that I was okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing about clickbait. Sometimes people don't get that it's just clickbait. Yeah. Okay. So I told people I was going to stream the entire event, right? I wasn't. Because Nick told me to do this. He said, you should just pretend you're going to stream the entire event and just farm before or farm after. I'm like, okay, right? So I was going to do that. And I was like, oh, yeah, going to stream the event, even though I was invited, lol. Yep. Right? But Cutie Cinderella comes to my chat. She doesn't get that. Uh-huh. Let me tell you who's She very, didn't like it? She didn't like that at all. No. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, she had no way to know. 100%. QT was very angry. Mm-hmm. Put out a public tweet saying, by the way, breaking rule three is uh, pretty cringe. And I'm like, yeah. yep, yeah, it is. Wait, rule three of what? Rule three Rule three was uh, if you were invited, don't stream it. Oh, I I didn't even see that. But yeah, I, yeah. I wasn't going to stream it. Uh, but I wasn't going to. I was going to stream until it started. Then I was going to raid into it. That way I could help the event because I'm a good guy. Uh, fun fact, I didn't raid into it. I raided Sunny instead is what it is. Okay. You know, I'd rather help a small streamer. You know how it goes. Uh, but yeah, Cutie comes to my chat. That was horrifying. <laughs> I've yeah. never had my heart sink faster in my life, bro. She was just upset. And yeah. like, well, like you said, you explained it to her, right? And everything was like, fine. Every, yeah, everything okay. was good. I tweeted DM. She like, she apologized. She was like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And I'm like, no, it was my bad. It was yeah, bad. yeah. Uh, and she deleted the tweet and all that stuff. Uh, no, I think she's great. Uh, and her podcast, Wine About It, is also actually pretty damn good. Oh yeah. I saw, so they're actually they are actually bringing that back. It's happening again. Mm-hmm. Everything's good. Wow. Holy shit. I remember, like, they stopped doing it for, like, six months now. It's got to be something like that. Yeah, maybe I think it's maybe been, about that long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's been six months, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad. I mean, like, I think it's, like, one of the only, like, I, I feel like that's kind of, like, a female-centric show. Yeah, I, would, I, I, don't, is, I don't know if there's another, like, well-known female podcast that came out, that's come out of Twitch. Not on Twitch. I, don't, I, don't I would say so. so. so it's yeah, good. I haven't heard of one, but I might just be out of the loop. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure there are others, but not ones that are, like, super well-known. Yeah, they released a Patreon, too, for their podcast with, like, uh, I think it's, like, like, fully, like, uncensored, like, as far as, like, swear words and the things they oh. talk. Oh, yeah, my yeah. bad. <laughs> like, the swear words and what Wait, they talk we, about. Are we supposed to be doing that? What? Censoring? Uh, yeah, I don't yeah know. whatever. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever. It's fine. It, it's fine, right? It's fine. Wait, did you guys see the food that we got? Oh, the nuggets? Okay, well, okay, so there were three courses, right? So the yeah. first one, it was already there when everyone came in. It was like these beautiful, like, roasted vegetables with, like, edible flowers on them. And we were like, what the fuck? This is fancy as hell. Then we get the next thing. It's mac and cheese with like brisket a chicken tender tater tots and like i don't even remember like just things like that and i was like this i was actually so happy though Wait, like, yeah, at, at the I, I should go next yeah. that sounds good they served us chicken tendies and mac and cheese that's good because that's like the the only good thing that you got at the award show yeah the, i mean i didn't really <laughs> and then after they brought us this dessert that was like this like blueberry like custard tart and i was like okay Blueberry custard tart. Yeah, it had fruit on it. You wouldn't have liked it. Ugh. Well, I mean, at least oh, it was pretty brisket good. It was good. nuggets. I mean, that sounds pretty good. I could deal with that. Yeah, yeah. that'd be totally fine. Yeah, chicken tendies. Okay. Yeah, decent pretty enough. Good. No, people were shitting on it, but I thought it was good. Wait, who was yeah. shitting on it? I remember I, I all mean, the people pictures. were just like making jokes, like this is what they like serve to streamers. Like, really? Are you serious? And I was like, that's what we want, bro. Yeah. What okay, you, but who what said that? Think? Yeah, that had to be somebody snobby. I don't know. I just saw like no, it, it's probably somebody who's not there. Who's oh, not yeah. a streamer? Yeah. Probably just some random viewer, and there's three other likes, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's probably what it is. But like, I, I saw the event. I was really impressed at how like well put together it was. Yeah, it was, was well no, done. Nobody running on stage yelling like shout out to fucking whoever or anything cringe at all. It was really surprising. Like, there's no massive fuck ups. Dude, the yeah. opening bit made my heart sink. Why? Juan Tep was on stage. <laughs> I thought it was the it was kid him. again. I thought it was him. I thought Bill Clinton was going to come back full swing. Bro, no, I was Apparently the Bill T- Clinton kid was there. No way. Yeah, he was there. What? Yeah, like he was just like chilling with people after and like people were talking about it. So I'm like, I don't know like why. Oh, there's a picture of the food. Delicious. It looks amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. It was Who great. could possibly complain about that? It was all good. I ate everything. I didn't eat all the I wouldn't eat the mac though. and cheese, but yeah. Wait, why? You don't fuck with mac and cheese? No reason for that. It's literally, it's perfectly good chicken there. Why would you ever resort to such a thing? 
Bro, what do you, I don't. Okay, so you don't eat fruit. You don't yes. eat. You don't eat carbs. No, I have like potatoes. Potatoes are carbs. I no, of you course. Eat your rice. Yes, rice is fine. Just not not mac and cheese. It's gross. It's for fat kids. <laughs> it is. I, 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 it is. I'm not. Look, I'm. I'm, yeah. I didn't just make this up. That's just that I didn't make this rule. That's just how it is. No, I fucking love mac and cheese. I, I eat mac, and cheese mac and cheese every day in oh, LA. Man. Uh, I've tried like over many times in my life. I've tried mac and cheese. I've never liked it at all. No, you need good mac and cheese. Yeah. Not all mac and cheese is the same. Yeah, not all mac and cheese is created equal. Okay. No. Well, like, how many, like, was there anybody who got an award who you think shouldn't have got an award? Oh. Any drama? Uh, Oh my God. Okay. I want no. this one's a, I have one that's serious and then I have one that's not. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just say it that you heard about what happened with Kaida. Yeah. That was rough. D okay. First of all, didn't voting close before um, she even like came out talking about anything? I, I have no idea. But the amount of shit that Kaida got for winning that award when it's not even her fault. Like, people were furious at her. It's like, bro, what did she do? Oh, so I Also, like, I genuinely think she would have won anyway because Cutie put out, like, the order of, like, votes, like, from viewers. It was Kaide, I think, Quarter Jade, Tarek, and then... Who was the fourth one? Asu, I think. Asu, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I think that she would have won anyway. Because, I mean, being a streamer, like, you know, and getting an award isn't just about like skill it's also about being an entertainer and like yep. you know your presence outside of twitch like she, and she grinds so hard i see her streaming like every day at like 3 a.m yeah but i'm just saying like i mean she knew that she was gonna get shit for it. that's why like people think awards just like all fun but like if the wrong or if the wrong person wins yeah. in the public eye people are gonna get furious like honestly sometimes winning an award can be a complete net negative like you get a little trophy but then you get like 27 hate threads about why like oh why this bitch get this she shit doesn't she's deserve the best it. Valorant. Yeah, well, she's like, the best valorant streamer so they can fucking cry cry pussies yeah. cry about it <laughs> they are gonna fucking cry i don't know why people get mad about it. it it's just an award show it's not like you have to watch them now it's not like this is okay well you know this person won the award i guess we can't watch the guy that i was watching before it's yeah. such weird behavior it literally does not matter at oh, all who gives a fuck but yeah some people are just looking for things to get mad about i think that's what it really is the same as always yeah. people are just looking for something to get pissed off about and i think like so for anybody who doesn't know like kai day like she had this like she announced she had like this type of cancer leukemia. and yeah leukemia. leukemia and uh anyway in doing so uh you know obviously got a lot of people talking about it and talking about her and she won the award for best valorant streamer and now people are saying that she got it i guess because she had cancer yeah yep. yeah pretty much i mean it, by people that means just like there's like there's a hundred people there's on like Twitter. shitty comments that yeah, are yeah. like at the bottom of a tweet bottom of youtube videos like this isn't like everyone saying this like this is no. only like really unhinged deranged people it was enough for kaida to make a statement on it though did she really yeah she made a statement oh yeah she, she said as soon as she won her like her heart sunk because she knew she was gonna get hate it was that's so we what the fuck yep. it's so weird yep yep oh my god i don't even know what to say about that some people like i i think they especially like on twitch they look at everything through the lens of like viewer count and like your social media presence so anytime that like something happens that's not aligned with where they think that you are in their mind, they start getting mad about it. I yeah. think that happens a lot. And now a word from our sponsors. If you want to support us and our sponsors, check out Universus. Universus is a CCG system that takes the best moves from popular video games and shows to create strategy heavy combat gameplay. The game has featured a ton of cool video games and shows like Mega Man, Mortal Kombat, Cowboy Bebop, and on October, they released My Hero Academy, a collectible card game available in stores now. Check out the link in the description. And My Hero Academy, a base set. They introduced many of the classic fan favorite cards like the Teacher's All Might and Eraserhead. And cards in the set are played regularly in competitive play. And My Hero Academy, a Crimson Rampage. The set is mainly defined by the first appearance of multiple fan favorite villains. Many of the cards in Crimson Rampage are very strong for defensively minded decks. My Hero Academy a Heroes Clash is a set defined by the support that it gives to existing strategies as well as a new rarity, the Chrome Rare. Chrome Rares have their own special foiling process and are each numbered out of 100. 
<laughs> another thing that happened at the award show uh, for best art streamer. Uh -huh. This was really funny. Uh, because Meat Canyon and Rubber Ross were nominated for it. Meat Canyon even said, I do not want it. <laughs> do not vote for me, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he actually told people to go vote for Rubber Ross. Right. Despite all of that, Meat Canyon still won. And I thought go. that shit was actually so funny. Well, I remember like the camera, he's just looking at the camera. And it's like Meat Canyon. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my so god cool. i didn't you didn't get to see any of that in person so no i feel I like didn't, i, I didn't probably missed out on half the experience yeah uh yeah so even despite all of his efforts he still won the award he did not want which i think is super funny uh and then the last thing i've had a very heated discussion about this obviously i'm very biased about this uh for best event <sighs> what was the best event chess boxing yeah. Which, which once again, it really depends on how you look at it. And it's all a matter of perspective. I right. was obviously, I'm so emotionally attached to Camp Canute. It's ridiculous. But like for me, like the impact that it's had on like my viewers, my community, when they come up to me, like I've had people coming up to me in tears mm -hmm. saying that I changed their life with Camp Canute because they lost like 100, 200 pounds. That's a lot. Yeah. Just because of seeing like people like them yep. go to the gym, making them think that they can do it. Now, obviously, chess boxing event was incredible. It was a better as the award says, an event, but like as Camp Canute, as the, the the product as a whole, just from what I've seen, it's right? it's like impossible. It's like how do you compare something like you, uh, you know like yeah. a movie to a series? Exactly. It, so that's the thing is like you know the chess boxing event. It was like a one day I think exactly. thing. It was a massive event. It was huge, like insane. And then Camp Canute went over a month, and so it's like how do you really compare these two on like the a one to one basis? You really it's can't. difficult, yeah. So it, it just has to go with like basically people's preferences and ultimately just how people see the content. I know you probably wouldn't ever do it, but seeing yeah. you get into the gym for 30 days would be the coolest thing. Oh my God. People always like putting me in places I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just, I don't know what. Have you is. ever worked out or like done weightlifting yeah. at all? Yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I used to do it like maybe like legit 10 years ago and I used to exercise all the time when I was a kid, right? Cause I would just like go out and do stuff. But it's not like, you know, weightlifting or anything like that. No. I think the problem is there's just too many places where you don't want to be. Because it's don't because there's only one place he wants to be. <laughs> yeah, that's right. On that computer. On that computer. <laughs> that's right. It's just that simple. And there's nothing wrong with that. Do you yeah. ever like, because this happens to me, like, I'm on the computer a lot too. Like, yeah. At least 14 hours a day, which saying it out yeah, loud about makes right. me feel <laughs> gross. Sure. When you go outside, do you feel like out of place? No, not really. Oh, I um, I, I only, I don't like the sun. You know, like everybody's like, oh, well, you know, that's like weird. No, just just deal with it. No, I don't like it. It's fucking annoying. It's it's hot. It's bright. I like it much better whenever it's at night. Absolutely. Without a question. What like about like when it's like winter and shit? That's great. You because like then it. Well, yeah, because it's darker. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yes. I feel like all you're missing is a rocking chair and a shotgun. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Man, fuck the sun, man. Yeah. That's, that's what's wrong with the world these days. It ain't coming in my house, I'll tell you that. I got <laughs> got aluminum foil on the windows. <laughs> it ain't coming in here. Oh, no, God. I know. I mean, I just, uh, I, I don't know. Like, I, maybe next year I'll go to the Streamer Awards. It's like, but I did say maybe next year, last year. So, yeah. Didn't you say of... the same thing this year and last year? We were like, I would do like what makes most sense as best MMO streamer and not leave my house. I mean, I feel like you have to keep doing it then. I think I'm just going to, if I win again next year, or like, I mean, obviously, like they have everybody send in an acceptance video just, you know, if they win, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it, whenever I send in one next year, if I get nominated again, I, I'm going to just use the exact same video and just dub over the two <laughs> time the three time i'm just gonna do the exact same fucking thing that's so good i will yep. say i don't think asma gold should have won mmo streamer okay why did zach rar not true. Get, it's ridiculous true I so do, true he, that channel is so slept on bro absolutely i think so too everybody always fucking roast me for this second channel meanwhile my second channel does great yep. like why can't i just do this why does it have to be on this other channel what the fuck yep. it makes me crazy yeah it's it's bullshit man it would be weird though if it got popular enough to where people started referring to me as actually zach rar like that would be weird because everybody knows it's Asmodel. <laughs> yeah. and if they start calling me Zach Raw, it'd be like, "What the fuck?" You know, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. I, I don't think, think that. I don't think that. You you probably do have the world's biggest second channel now. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. On Twitch, sure. that's gotta maybe. be. That's gotta be the biggest second channel. Yeah. When was the last time you streamed on Asmodel? 
I don't know. Remember the last thing you did? Um, I played Dark and Darker, and I got killed. And then I was like, guys, I got to go. And, uh, <laughs> then I did. I don't think I came back the next day, and that was about it. Yeah. Uh, unironically, that was it. Damn. Were you playing by yourself or no? Yes, I was. And that was I, like five months ago, wasn't it? Like December. How, how do you how do you do that? How do you do dark and darker by yourself? That sounds awful. I am very much a solo gamer. Like I, I like playing solo. I like just doing my own thing usually. And sometimes I'll play with other people, but for the most part, I like just kind of playing by myself and doing my own thing. And that's about it. I'm pretty much the same. Like I've never liked really doing in ranked games, like in league. I would like never duo. But you are different because I'm different. Every time, like, you'll be playing, like, Fortnite or some shit, and every time I'll click on your stream over the course, like, three hours, you're with a completely different group. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what happened? No, I, yeah. I love people so much. Like, I'm under the mentality, and I, and I say this, I feel, this is weird, uh, I think any moment, like, not spent with someone else in mm -hmm. some capacity is, like, a wasted moment, in my opinion. Okay. Because I feel like the entire world is about the relationships that you build, and uh, the impact that you have on each other's lives. So, like, I love doing everything with anyone. Like, even I made this new Discord okay. the other day, and now, like, every night I'm going there with, like, some of my closest friends watching. Oh, is everything. that the one you invited me to? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I got invited to that Discord, too, and he sent me, the message was, like, I'm making this private yep. server, like, yep. for streamers to hang out yep. and, like, talk about personal stuff, and yep. I'm inviting you because I trust you. Yeah, and then, and then, then I thing. see... It says 81 members. I'm like, Tectone, you trust 81 okay, people? No, uh-oh. So here's the thing. Tectone. Uh-oh. Okay, but you, so, <laughs> so here's the thing. <laughs> Chat's going to get leaked. So here's it the thing. It is. It actually is. Yeah. So uh, I made a notepad, okay? A <laughs> oh, notepad. And I had three copy pastas, okay? That one you got sent was... This is going to expose everything that I scored. That one was the one that I sent to people who I really trusted. Uh-huh. Okay. The other one, there's a different copy pasta. I'm not going to say what it said, but it's not that I trust you. It's because of other reasons. Okay. Right? And there's another one. Mainly it's like for like content or, you know, if I feel like they should meet people. Right. But you got the tier one. You got the tier one. Oh, there, he has tears of friendship. Well. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> that's, that's the truth, yep. man. That's the truth. I mean, listen, not all friends are equal. I mean, you have the friends that you would can like cry in front of. And then you have the friends where you can only exist if you're having fun in the same room. Oh, yeah. And then you have the friends where you keep them around because you get to make fun of them. Right. right? The, the punching bags. That's the way I feel like a lot of people think about my stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm also definitely a punching bag friend. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's 100%. the best way to stream. Like, I, I like being a punching bag stream. Yeah. It's good. It's, it's really good. good. Like, I feel like it's more fun for the viewer. It's more fun for me. Like, it's not, it never gets, like, too weird. Mm. I just feel like that's the best way to be. It's, it, I think it really depends on like kind of the vibe of it because like for me I don't understand how people can play video games and not get mad so, I was playing video game I was playing some game and it's like I don't understand how somebody can wipe on the same boss for an hour and not get pissed off about messages in chat and not fucking mm -hmm. ban people mm -hmm. I don't get it it doesn't make any sense because for me like that shit happens I'm fucking mad and I'm actually mad. I'm going to ban people. I Oh, my God. I get Dude, so upset. It I don't makes know me, why. It makes me feel psychotic. Yes. Right? Because people are like, they're like robots. And yes. I'm like, bro, like I was playing Fortnite the other day. I had 15 kills. My entire team's dead. I had the one before. Okay? I kill two. Right? I katana out. By the way, the new Fortnite is we need to talk about that. It's awesome. Okay? They revive them. Mm -hmm. I knock three out. Right. Okay? Then I get in the final 1v1. Mm -hmm. I'm about to clutch it up. And he had the laser gun, which is OP. Kills me in one hit. I lose right. my shit. Chat, why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? So are you bad, yelling? so yeah. bad. I'm like, dance like, so bad. Bro, what do you want me to be? GG. No, bro, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. Like, yeah. victory was right fucking there. It's called emotions. Do people get guilted for having passion these days? Like, like people just don't get it. Like, bro, you yell when you're angry. Like, what do you want? I mean, a lot do? of people were raised that, like, showing emotions is, like, a weakness or a bad thing. And then I think that they kind of, like, push it on other people, too. That is the weird. Who the fuck is raised like that? A oh, lot of everyone, people. Yeah. A really? lot of people. Like synths from Fallout 4? A lot of people. I mean, <laughs> really? I don't I don't know if you guys ever like feel this way, but um I've heard like for a lot of guys, like showing like sadness or like crying or anything, like you were raised that like oh, that's that. like yeah. I, oh, I feel like it right. like extends to yeah. other things too, like even like getting mad and like things like that. Like people were raised like they can't get like mad at their parents or something. I was told that I wasn't allowed to be sad. That one yeah. messed me up. 
that was a hard one because uh when i was a kid like some people would notice this too like sometimes when i get sad on stream mm -hmm. i start smiling because like i still was used to like not being allowed to be sad so when i get sad and like tear up i'll like start it's freaky it's like right. that, i'm like that joke it makes something. me sad because yeah. like I mean, since um, I've always had like gaming adjacent hobbies, naturally more than half of my friends have usually been guys. And like right. when I see them going through stuff, like they'll usually like try to like, they won't want to talk about it, even though like I can tell like there's things to talk about or like they won't express their emotions. And it's like, that's okay if they want to deal with it privately, but it just like makes me sad. Yeah. You know, it's like they like struggle with it more, but can't really like process it the same way that girls can. Mm. I just usually like it with almost all problems that i have i just lay in bed and turn off the lights and the problem will eventually just go away <laughs> yeah and and nice. that's usually or at least i won't care about it as much that's my solution but you're totally right i mean like it's and the thing is like as soon as you do get mad and people do upset you then it's like oh now they're gonna do it all the time so it's like this weird thing where it's like you should be able to show emotion and like you know feel this way but whenever you do you have people that are like shitting on you for it so it's like a weird middle ground oh, yeah to, I, I guess it's even worse when you're a male like public figure exactly as well yeah well I'm, I'm now very in touch with my emotions like and i'm i show everything like yeah. no it, and that's like a thing where i do believe the world is getting better mm -hmm. in that regard uh because i mean it's like when I kind of live my life where I try to be very open about everything and that way people can understand that like if this guy went through this then I can get through this and I feel like yeah. that sense of camaraderie where if you do talk about the serious shit that you've been through not everybody has to do that I understand it's not for everybody but then like people see like oh this guy had this happen to him and he's still good uh and he takes it and you know process it and moves forward but some other people say fuck it keep it to yourself bottle it up and then when you're about to die you know, grenade that shit somewhere else, man. Yeah, yeah. Your deathbed. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, what happens is they pass it on to their kids. Yeah, exactly. Hold that trauma in for yourself and yep. then put it on your kids. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Problem yep. solved. Yep. Yeah, kick the kick the can down the road. That's the solution. Yep. And then, they, and be then they become uh, Twitter users. Right, exactly. Yep. Yeah. And then they complain about how much of an asshole their dad is. Like, man, my dad's a fucking dick. Yeah. Then, you know, then they have kids and then their kids are doing the same fucking thing. Oh, absolutely. No, I, I, I know it, it, it does kind of suck, like not being able to like express yourself, especially as like a guy with certain things. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I mean, I, I think it, it sucks, but you just have to deal with it. Right. I mean, that's yeah, all I mean, there that's is how life it. is. I mean, that's true for everything. Like, you know, sometimes you just have to fucking deal with it. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I feel like guys should still be able to open up to their friends if they want to. But a lot of them feel like they can't. I will admit I sometimes go into discord groups. Yeah. Which is just like some of the some of the weirdest interactions I've ever experienced. Like some of the weirdest friend groups where there will be people in the same Discord for years and they've never, ever, ever talked about anything besides just video games. Like they won't even know like what their actual name is besides their handle. They won't know about their parents. Like I don't maybe that's normal, but like like just surface level conversations. This is weird, but I love that. I've had a lot of friendships like that. Why do you like that? I don't know like it's just like I, I guess no it's pressure. because yeah there's no pressure yeah. and I feel like a lot of people play games online anyway as like a form of escapism and then it's like you have this friend yeah. who when you go to them it's only fun you know and for for them you're only fun like you just play games and like you don't talk about your problems it's like oh I'm so excited to hang out with so-and-so because like it's just like they're holy fuck you just made that make sense instantly yep I never got able to do that now I get that Holy, yeah, I love I that. Like, I, I love having ages. like my friends where like you know I talk to them about real life stuff and like I help them deal with their problems too. But I also yeah. like having online friends where it's like that's the extent of it. You just do whatever and then that's it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah. I think that's good too. Oh, I get it now. Okay, yeah. shit, damn. Yeah, it's like it's just a, a place for you to relax and chill out. Wait, and so you have like so a safe many space. online yeah. friends. So you're saying you, I know like, everything you, about you them. get in the nitty gritty with every all 81 people. Uh, from that server, not all I one. So that server, I also <laughs> brought some people in who I think would be good for. I like I like playing matchmaker mm -hmm. for my friends. I'm like, oh, this friend would be really fun to have fun with this friend. Right. And so I'm trying That's to introduce nice. my friends to like my other friends because nice. like being alone blows. Does that ever work? Every time. Okay. Literally every time. Uh, besides one where their friendship lasts for three years, now they won't talk to each other. That That's, is what it is. And it's, the three years were good though. Yeah, That's I fine. would say that was a success. Yeah. But okay, but the weird thing was somebody. This is weird, where they hang out with somebody in a call, and then they do something that they don't like, and then they don't say anything about it ever for like months. Like there was this dude. I'm not gonna say who it is, and I know he's listening to this right now too. 
who fake compliments everyone. And it was what the, do you mean fake compliments? Is he like, oh not- my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hate how I'm talking about this right now. This is one guy, okay. he fake compliments everyone. Like he gasses them up mm-hmm. and everybody knows it's a lie. But right. he always does it. So, like, you you do anything in League of Legends. You, like, get, like, one creep. Like, you get one creep score, 17 gold. Oh, my God, dude, you're insane. Yeah. Was, you're that literally the best player ever. That as fuck. I would go crazy. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm, sure he's a, I'm sure he's a very nice guy, and he means well. He he does mean well. But, like, when you know, it's like, I I literally told him. I'll just say, I was, I'm like, Beans, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's yeah. li- I literally got one kill on accident in Apex. I am not the new faker. Just leave me alone. <laughs> God, it is... So, oh, he means well, but Jesus Christ, it's so annoying. God damn. <laughs> but, but people sit and call with, with people like this who do things that they don't like, and then they never say anything. So I went to a call on the other Discord, and I was like, all right, guys, I'm going to just say it. Okay, here's what everybody needs to hear. Maybe I'm being a Karen. Yeah. yeah but I was just like, because I, I like when people tell me, like, they like DM me, like, hey, have you ever considered this? But I was just like, this guy, you need to stop fake complimenting people. This person, you need to respond to DMs better. This person, get the fuck out of VR chat. Yeah. Right. And then since that, everything has been so much better. Everything's fine after you just tell people what it is. Yeah. Because it's, it's like, yeah, there's, there are times in like a friend group or like one person will do something that like makes everybody else uncomfortable or they don't like it. Yep. But nobody wants to say anything about it. Yeah. And so it just keeps happening and keeps happening and keeps happening. It's just, yeah, I can see that. And then like everybody starts to like slowly resent them and then get mad at each other and it yep. just makes everything toxic. Yep. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. Yep. It's hard to do that though without like being an asshole. It is. It is. But like sometimes, like I've done that for other people before, where I'm just like, whatever happens, I know it's gonna be better. Mm-hmm. Might be uncomfortable now, but you got to do it. Yeah. Like uh, when everybody tells me that, hey, Tecton, you're way too fucking loud. Yep. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yep. Like you know what? Maybe I will lower my voice a couple of octaves. Because what happened was, uh, my dad got his ear blown off uh-huh. in Afghanistan, so I've been okay. used to yelling at him all yeah, the time. Yeah. And then I did theater where I was just projecting my voice yeah. on stage all the time. And then I had a microphone that sucked that I had to yell into it yep. in order to be heard. I had a Yeti too. <laughs> That's exactly what yep. it was. Me too. And the other one was I'm just also just, I'm tall as fuck. I, I, that probably affects something. Or are you like yelling down on a short people or something? You think you're yeah. better than us, you fucking asshole? Sorry, yeah. go on. <laughs> yeah, All right. I know. You know how it goes. <laughs> the good news is, even though tall people are better, uh, they will be dead first. One X. one point seven years taken off your life for every inch you are above five foot. That is either completely made up. If Wake Wilder is talk about this on okay. another episode, yeah, yep, like- you did. And I think I I feel like it is not. I feel like it does not start at five feet tall. What do you think it starts? I don't know. Probably six feet tall. I think you're saying that because you're above six foot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's probably about why i'm like there's no way i lost 12 years just for this bullshit dude I, yeah I, when i saw that i was like you know what i'll do mm-hmm. i'll just chop off my legs and get 20 years that's smart yeah it's yeah you know smart. Smart. yeah you should <laughs> that's that's right. Right. i i i feel like saying five three already sounds short i'll tell people i'm five three and they're like no you are not you are yeah. not five three. You're like five one five. Two. I'm like, yes, I am. I've literally fucking measured. I feel like because I feel like maybe when you're taller, everyone just seems shorter than they really are. I don't there know. There it is. Oh, true. No. Okay. Yep. Oh wait, it's not true. No, that's why it says no. Oh. It's not true that every inch above five feet takes one point five years. Wow, I've spent the life. last three weeks of my life having a midlife crisis, and now I. I just gained 30 years of my life. Yo, Asman. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go, man. Yeah, we just, yeah, we just gained like 30 that. years. Well, it, it, it is true that smaller people live longer, right? I think so, yeah. And, and there is like, there's a trend, definitely. It's just, I didn't know it was like a, a one-to-one. It's I, probably just because being taller puts more stress on your body. Yeah, something like that. I have no idea. I would probably consider uh, chopping my head off and putting it on a robot. Okay, that's smart. Yeah. Would you do that, Amy? Yeah, I would do that. I think it could be fun. Because you could like climb up a wall, like theoretically, like you could climb up a wall, or you could. But, like, but why? I, that would be cool. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you your own question, but why would I do that? Well, I mean, why not? Random. Ew. Okay, well then, why not eat fucking mac and cheese? Dude, if I was a robot, I could climb up a wall. <laughs> well, I, I'm replacing my, uh, I'm replacing my body, not my taste buds. True. Yeah, I mean, if I could eat, like, if there was a theoretical world where I could eat something 
that was like green paste that was like a mixture of like 10 different vegetables and it was super healthy for you and it tasted just like a chicken nugget, I would eat it every day. It's I don't that understand simple. how your taste buds are so fucked, but you can't eat mac and cheese. You never had the like chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, and cosmic brownie meal? Yep, I have. You just wouldn't eat the mac and cheese. Exactly. Wait, I think I think that, that doesn't that technology already exist? Aren't there like certain places that get like this 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 nutrient cube? And it's they, still not the same. Like that's same? like it's like v- vegan food, right? I don't it's, know. It's there's, still not quite the same. There's like these people who get like shipped like this nutrient food and they eat one block a day. That's that's all they eat. They eat one block. Or there's no way that works. Like somebody, a, little, a little brick like that, yeah. I don't believe that for a second. No, I, I believe you could get, like, the calories and nutrients you need, but I don't know if it's, like, actually healthy or, like, yeah. it probably doesn't taste good. I mean, there's also Soylent. Soylent, okay, but Soylent's how, the shit. I love that stuff. I don't know about that, man. Like, Are there people who actually just live off only Soylent, though? Yes. I hope not. No, yeah, so there's engineers that have like programmed what? their body to only drink Soylent because it's the quickest thing. meal cubes. There it is. One meal what is aims this? to See that? replicate See that? four ounces of salmon, one sweet potato, half an avocado, and two cups of Pause. something. Kale. Kale, kale probably. Yeah, kale, surely. Oh my no. God, man. They're like, you want to try some? I'll order us. Wait, it's oh. literally this big. I thought it was like this big. It's literally this yeah, big. A little tiny cube. What? Yep. But that's got to feel like shit. Like, you got to feel like so fucking hungry. Here's an idea. Why talk about it when you can just do it? Why not order I'm some not eating cubes? that fucking shit. I would, tr- no I'll, I would try it, but like, I feel like I'm going to turn into like a robot or something. Dude, I would love to automate my life to function off of only meal cubes and Soylent. I was hoping that like I could have a photosynthesis like relationship with my monitor. Where like I, if I oh was, God. <laughs> he's genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, I could, I could look at the monitor, and over time, it would just kind of regenerate me, and I would stay on the computer, and things would just be fine. Don't you think you're ever gonna run out of internet? No. No. Well, how what could I run, run out, out of like internet? run out of content? Yeah, I run out of content oh. all the time. Do y'all not experience that? No. Um, about like sometimes I'll just lay in bed instead of getting out of bed and I'll do this for like maybe two hours and I will scroll through Twitter and then I'll scroll through Instagram. Then I'll throw, scroll through discord and I'll scroll through Reddit. Then I'll go to YouTube and then I'll go back to Twitter. And then yeah. I'm pretty much like, that's about it. And by the time that I get back to Twitter after the first time, then there's usually something new. And like, sometimes I've actually been really bored and I've started drama just to keep people mad at me so I could read their comments talking about me. Wait, do that right now. Fuck that. I mean, I, oh, okay. yeah, I, I don't have anything to start drama with right now. Wait, if, you could, if you were to give me a tweet to tweet out right now that would cause drama, what, do you, what would you say I would tweet? Um, I don't know. Probably something negative about the streamer awards. Streamer awards sucked. Fuck you i'm not gonna tweet that well, it, it's yeah but it depends yeah, i right? was sitting here like waiting for a nuclear fallout yeah, yeah. it's like oh great That's now we way. have to deal with more fucking drama yeah this is great yeah let's find out but let's let's see what kind of great bullshit he's cooked up this time no i understand yeah, yeah I, i've tweeted some stuff out like that before or just made comments on things etc no i i'm fully aware of it and now a word from our sponsors As most of you can tell from my cuisine choices, I like a good deal. And let me tell you, there's no better deal than pre-built computers from Starforge Systems. Unlike my $2 steak, these computers are visually appealing, incredibly high quality, and probably won't give you a stomach virus. With six computers ranging from entry level to top of the line gen, Starforge Systems has a PC prepared to everyone's liking. Head on over to StarforgeSystems.com and snag one of the awesome PCs that they've cooked up. Oh. Like I, I don't know. Have you ever gotten in? Have you either of y'all ever gotten into drama just because you were bored? Not really. Like I, I have no interest in being in drama. Really? Like, yeah. I think like last podcast you said like it's boring that I get into drama. I need to do it, but it's like I don't even know what to do. Like when other people have drama, I like look at it and I'm like, damn, that's crazy, and then I just like forget about that's it. That's about it. You didn't really I've, care. I've gotten into dumb drama before, but I don't think I've ever got in drama just for the fuck of it. I don't think like. I think the, the, the only drama I've ever gotten into, not even drama, maybe like, like, like an argument, was like where we're doing something fun with my homies and then my homies are just not into it. And then I'm like, 
bro, what the fuck? Why are you being so fucking stupid? Like, bro, yeah. we're at a theme park, dog. Yo, eat a hot dog. Be happy, stupid. Right. That's it. No, nah, like, you gotta do, listen. like, public drama, like, Twitter drama. No, nah, no. You gotta nah. start some shit. I mean, we could. I have I don't remember the last time I really had, like, bad Twitter drama. Oh, no, I do know. So I made a joke on my stream that I was going to get an AI. To, I was going to feed an AI a bunch of pictures that looked just like an artist that was popular on Twitter. And then I was going to act like I was commissioning them for work and say thank you for all of these AI generated pictures. And this is like obviously a joke. And anybody who knows me knows that I'm way too lazy to even do this. Yeah. But like three or four people went on Twitter and they were fucking furious that I said this. They were so mad. That's so funny. Oh, yeah, it was great. Uh, speaking of AI, mm -hmm. I would like you to admit that your acceptance speech for MMO, that was not you. Oh, I wish it wasn't. That was that was was that not an AI? <laughs> no, it actually had to be me. Yeah, there's, there's so I watched that video back. There's just something off about it, man. It's probably what the reason why it's probably off is because there's sunlight in my room, so like you're not used to seeing that. Okay. Or it's scripted. Did you script it? I thought about what I was gonna say, but I didn't no. script it. No. Ever since you told me about you trying to get an AI to replace your streams, yeah, does something just feels you always off. wonder like, did this happen last month? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Something just doesn't feel right. Yeah, okay. exactly. No, I, I hope that's going to happen. I'm very excited for it. Do you guys think that AI streamers or, like, AI entertainers will ever surpass, like, real human people? Yes. They already you have. think soon? Yes. Neurosama. Yeah, they already have. Exactly. Well, yeah, Neurosama has blown the well, whole thing. I mean, has she really surpassed any VTubers? Uh, in yeah. terms of exponential growth, yes. In her well, it, short time I mean, period, yes. isn't that because she's like the first and it's like novelty? Because I mean, like when the first VTubers were blowing up, like it was like huge, but like they've kind of like you know. What? Go ahead, say it. So there I mean, was like a when uh, it was novelty, it was new. There was like a big boost to people being like, "What the fuck is this?" Checking it out, and then now it's kind of like only like you know, like anime fans who like VTubers are watching VTubers. I feel like everybody watches VTubers. I think it's just anime fans. It's it's well, hard to show something like this on on the the screen. But this right here is the profile of an AI cosplayer. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah. It looks pretty real. Because yep, there you yeah. go. An AI cosplayer. No, well, we, can, we can show you guys maybe on screen or something. Yeah, all of that. The editor. Wait, she's not real? He, she's not real. Sorry. Wait, so I'm in love with someone who doesn't exist? Yeah. Dude, it's been three seconds. <laughs> oh, dude, oh my God. I'm in love. Bro, this chick is beautiful. Yeah, uh, she sure is. Jesus, that's crazy, awesome. bro. Oh, yeah, here you go. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, all completely AI generated. And you look at the amount of likes on it, 66,000 likes, 22,000 likes, 62,000 likes, 24,000 likes. It is nuts. So, yeah, it's already happening. Dude, I think that is so cool because, like, um, a thing that I used to struggle with when I was in a relationship, mm -hmm. um, I didn't, like thinking that anybody else was like attractive yeah at all so like a fake human because like, that's why i liked uh anime chicks so much because i'm right. like oh i can like these people and not feel bad about it but now that there's real fake human beings ai cosplayers that's sick yeah oh my god well, what i meant that's by like surpasses like it's like novelty and cool but will people like reach a point where they're like because I feel like a lot of people, when they see this, they're like, oh, it's cool and like it's attractive, but it's not a real person. And that makes them feel less invested in a way. Like Neurosama like blew up a lot, like like is bigger than a lot of VTubers, but sh I don't know if she'll ever be like the biggest VTuber or like an AI VTuber will ever be like the biggest VTuber. It's hard to say whether they'll be the biggest, but I do think it'll become a lot more popular. Like pretty, like common, you think? Oh, yeah. Yes, very common. Do you think I think it'll be common too. Do you think self-driving cars are novelty or do you think they're gonna be the future it depends on like how good they become because like it's like if they're like kind of scuffed and like then yes it is novelty but at some point they will like you know at some point it'll probably be completely normal the same thing with the vtuber the ai vtubers if they get good enough they will overtake so i watched a video and it was about this website and it was called replica and the website basically had an AI that you would talk to and then it would talk back to you and they would form relationships with the AI. So obviously people wanted to have uh, sex chats with the AI, just of course. And so this happens and uh, 
there was a massive big problem with this. And then they started actually advertising the company as like an AI sex chat bot company with like different advertisements on YouTube and stuff like that. It was huge. And then one day they just got rid of the whole thing. But then whenever I looked it up and I saw like all the related apps on like the Play Store, there was like 15 other apps that you were able to, yeah, there's one of them right there. And you would just talk to these different characters and they're literally just AI. Look at that. But I, like, I mean, like they are like realistic responses, I guess, but they don't yeah. feel like human. Like that was something like when I said like AI entertainers, I didn't just mean like photos of attractive women or like VTubers. Like I, I can't, I'm sure it'll happen at some point, but for oh, yeah. example, I can't imagine like an AI, like, comedian like being funnier than a real human that like you know has all these things but it could happen well this is a seinfeld thing the seinfeld was hilarious but i mean but, but seinfeld the seinfeld thing like had its moments that were amazing like wow an ai so, came up with this and then a lot of it was just kind of like so so a lot of like what you're saying is you're you're basically thinking that it's 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 only contextualized around it being a novelty not necessarily, but I think like a lot of um, <clears throat> the numbers yeah. that are coming with it right now are because it's novel, like it's new. But um, that doesn't mean like I think that's the only reason that it's good. But like for like an AI VTuber, it's it's something new. No one's ever done it before. Yeah. But th at some point, people might just be like, oh, well, it's not a real person. I don't want to invest my time into this, even though it's cool. Like it'll still do well. I just don't know if like it'll become like on par with real people. I don't uh, know if it'll ever be on par, but I do think that it will be pre it will be prevalent. You know? I mean, think about how many characters that are popular, like universally popular, that just aren't real. Yes, but those are created by real people. They're designed so by the real people. The voice, like that, has breathed life into them as a real person. Well, the, I, mean, I mean, it's true that an AI is created by a real person yeah. too. But I, I, like, I mean, it's still the same. Where like a character will be popular, but like they won't have the same like. I mean, some do, but they won't have the same like lasting power as like a, a real person. I don't know, man. As, as far as I know, there's a completely automated McDonald's <laughs> two hours that way. It's doing that's just about right. Fine. <laughs> that's right. Okay. I actually want to. I want to. I want to go to that too. Yeah. Same. You know what's crazy? It's like it's, it sounds so exciting, but I, I bet you get there and like you like do it, and then you're like, oh well, that was cool. No, no, no way. You don't it's think change so? My life. Wait. Okay. Have you seen like video? Like I actually don't know. So do you get to like see the sandwiches being made and shit? Is there like glass? I don't know. I don't know. I would love if like you could see the sandwich being made. You like materialized? Yeah. It, like yeah. puts each atom in place. I would love that. It's just a bunch of like green paste or like pink <laughs> yeah. paste that just comes down. It's like, yeah, we don't want you to see this, okay? <laughs> if you saw how it was made, you wouldn't want it. <laughs> I think that's what it is. No, I, I think, uh, yeah, they, they had this other thing, and its name was called Flippy, and it was literally a machine that would just flip the burgers, put the fries in, and do all the work. And, you know, I was telling people, it's like Flippy never cares about unions, never cares about wages. Flippy will work on Christmas. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> He's never going to uh, spit in the employee's food, or sorry, the customer's food. He's never going to show up late because he lives at work. And it's like, how can you possibly beat this? Oh, I think it is the future. It's going to happen a lot more. Man, damn AIs are taking our jobs. <laughs> True, but Fuck these robots. Yes. There it is. Yep. Flippy right there. Is this oh, like we have Industrial them? Revolution 2? Oh, my God. That's right. But there's a real human putting the cheese on one. Oh, wow. Flippy can't even put the cheese by himself? Yeah. Flippy can't. Robot. For now. <laughs> oh, yeah. For true. Now. Soon See, yeah, gonna... now people are going to say, like, flipping burgers at McDonald's if you fail life. It's putting cheese on the robot patties at McDonald's uh -huh. if you fail at life. Yeah, yeah. It's like you, you, you put the cheese on the patties. No, you can't flip the burgers anymore. That's too much too much effort, too much work. I, honestly, <laughs> I'm going to be real. I cannot wait Place until they have. cheese slices. Yeah, I cannot wait until they have one of these at Chipotle. I went to Chipotle oh. the other day. They were out of steak. So I was like, okay, wow. Okay, well, book. here's my argument. You can't manipulate a robot into giving you extra steak. I don't need to. Because the portions that they have in America are fucking massive. I don't know how people eat all this food. Like, I'll go to a restaurant and it'll be like, uh, this massive amount of food. It's like, I can't eat all of this in two days. This is insane. I always, okay, this is what I always thought is that they purposely give you a lot to like sell you more to make more money than the ex expectation is you'll like take it home. Right. I didn't know a lot of people just eat the whole thing. Oh, yes, they do. 
Uh, so earlier we were talking about the streamer awards. Yes. And I feel like it would be just a missed opportunity if I did not make us all feel incredibly out of touch by talking about the Academy Awards. Okay. Did y'all see those? Nope. I heard that Brendan Fraser won. That's the only thing I heard about. I saw it on Twitter today. I looked at all of these lists. Uh huh. I don't know who any of these people are. Name them off. All right. So everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh, amazing movie. Yep. I watched half I of that, that on the airplane. Did you oh, watch that? I have not seen it. That's such a good movie. Okay, good. I am out of touch. Okay, next. Got best picture. Yeah. Brendan Fraser, Brendan Fraser, best actor. Yes. For to make sure, is Brendan yes. Fraser the guy from Fraser? <laughs> no. No. No, he's the guy from The Mummy. Remember, like, the guy with, like, the hair? Yep. And yeah. the sword. He's like, ha-ha. Okay, he I did do know a, a movie yeah. recently, The Whale. That was pretty good. Michelle Yeoh. Well, she's the one who is the star. Everything, in, everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Mm, the movie. Yeah. Uh, Natu Natu, best original song. Don't know that one. I just, fuck, that, best, best animated feature, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. What do you don't know? I who didn't Guillermo know who del Toro is. No. I didn't directed know he Pan's made Labyrinth, Pinocchio. Hellboy Two. He was going to direct the uh, the uh, the Hobbit, uh, the 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 three part Hobbit Hobbit series, and he ended up not doing it. Well, like, I think the, the guys are, are really good. Well, the, the guy's a legendary act, uh, director. Like, oh. Absolutely, like, S-tier. Like, if he if he is directing a movie, that is a selling point in itself. Okay, you see, this is, yeah, so I'm out of touch. Yeah, so you stuff. have no fucking idea what's going on. Yeah, I have no I have You no realize idea. Pan's Labyrinth came out in, I think, 2006, right? I heard of it. I heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Oh, okay. Hellboy yeah, was... Yeah, it's good. I think Hellboy was good. It was? <laughs> uh, All Quiet on the Western Front. All quiet on the Western Front. Oh, wait, Emmy, you didn't like Hellboy? Oh, no, I said I liked Hellboy. Oh, I thought, the oh okay. I thought you were saying you didn't like it. Oh, it was great. Well, the, oh. the new one, apparently. I didn't watch the new one, okay? Wait, how well, recent was the new one? Well, the, there's a Ron Perlman one. Where was like, there's at least two, maybe three. <laughs> uh, and then they made a new one maybe three years ago. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I didn't watch the new one. Though. Danielle Kwan, best director. For what? Everything, everywhere, all at once. Oh, oh yeah. so it's just like that movie. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know who that yeah, is. Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of new actors from everything. Maybe I should watch it. You everything, should. That everywhere, is all such once. a good movie. Really? I watched the trailer. It looked really boring. Uh, I'd rather just watch an anime. Honestly, I, I only I only watched it because everyone was saying it was so amazing. I was exactly. like, I have to see yeah. I have to see why then, because I also wasn't that interested in it from the trailer and yeah. the synopsis. It is, it is really good. There's is a, it, there's yeah. a reason it, everyone says it's Is it better good. than Blue Lock? <sighs> what the hell is that? It's a f soccer anime. Bro, it's soccer. The fuck? Why would they even make a soccer anime? Dude, it's so. Oh good, my bro. god. I, dude, the moments in that show are so intense. I get up out of my chair when I watch it. It is so hype. Or I'm a loser. Yeah. Um, Navalny, best documentary. I haven't seen that. An Irish Goodbye, live action short film. Uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Yeah, of course. The movie sucked. I watched the first one because I remember whenever the first uh, Black Panther came out and everybody was making it like a big racial thing and it was like a political thing, et cetera. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch this fucking movie. Yeah. I'm actually going to see what's going on. I watched it. It was good. Yeah, I thought the first one was Actually great. really good. The second one, I have no idea. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I was beyond bored with that. But really? The, yeah, best costume design. Once again, I don't think my movie takes are based at all. I think my uh -huh. movie takes are because I, I just don't watch them and I find them so boring. Uh, women Talking. Best Adapted Screenplay. The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. Best Animated Short Film. Mm -hmm. mm. No? no? Well, that's for kid animated short film. Like, oh. that's, that's like for kids or something. I don't know. You'll never guess what movie won Best Visual Effects. Avatar? Yeah. Yeah. I, okay, I'll be real. I saw it. I didn't think it looked that good. I'm going to be honest. Like, a visual effects, it's not as impressive anymore. Like, yeah. if somebody has a dragon on the screen, I never think to myself, man, that dragon looks so good. Like, you look at Thanos in Infinity War, bro, Thanos is real. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <He's> real. <laughs> and so, you can't get any better than that. Like, we've yep. hit the ceiling. I mean, I that's feel like that's the point, though, is, like, you don't even think about it because it looks so good. It just, yeah. like, feels real. I'm going to do, do a super loser take here real quick. I will admit, the visual effects for Demon Slayer are crazy. Of course. It's okay. animated, bro. I, it's I, different. I'm just saying, bro, the colors hit different, and it makes my brain feel good. I mean, I I agree. Okay. It's I see good. the purples. I see the reds. Yeah. I see the flashing lights, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, right in my like, optic scans, bro. I love it. Holy shit. Uh, and then uh, The Whale for best makeup and hairstyling, and then Top Gun Maverick for best sound. Isn't that movie like a thousand years old? No, they made a new one. Oh, that's the new one? Yeah, it's the new one. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, dude, I, I looked I looked at that list and I was like, bro, I just do not watch films at all. When ever. was the last time you went to the movie theater or you actually like watched a new movie? What was the re most recent new movie you watched? Do you want me to tell you what that is? I know what it is. What? I saw the Demon Slayer movie in theaters. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you uh, that's that's not that bad. Oh, okay. Besides that. Before that, I I did go see Avatar the Way of the Water in theaters. Really? Yeah. Wow. That was so fucking boring. <laughs> I'm going to be well, honest. The first Avatar, the only claim to fame that movie had was that it had great visual effects. Yep. I remember I borrowed money from my friend. It was like $9 for a ticket back then to watch the first one. We watched it together. I was like, this is pretty cool, but okay. And yep. I don't know why they made a second one. They're gonna, I don't understand Because the it. first one did well. They're going to make a third and fourth one. Holy fuck. And apparently, Jay, can you Google this? Apparently, they're making a director's cut of Avatar Way of the Water that is nine hours, or I got baited by the internet once again. There's no way. Oh yeah, I'm going to hope that that's another lull spread misinformation attack. That the, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Dude, the amount of misinformation that I get fed every day yeah. is crazy. It is crazy. See, at least you know there's a possibility, though, and you, like, look it up. Yeah. Instead of just, like... You know, saying it as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I told Jay to look it up. People just believe all kinds of uh, misinformation now. I think it's great. I think no. we should start doing that in this podcast. Yeah. Won't be getting a director's cut. Ava okay. The Avatar The Way of Water won't be getting a director's cut. Where the fuck did you hear that? I hate my chat. <laughs> I fucking hate my chat, bro. Uh -huh. They all were saying it, man. They were all saying it. <laughs> Jesus, man. But yeah, yeah, man. It's totally true. Uh-huh. Yeah, I go can't for believe it. you believe anything from your chat without looking it up. Well, what's my chat, bro? They wouldn't lie. Apparently, now they now they will. They all lie. It's, it's, it's when everybody's saying it. I figured there's no way they're all wrong, right? No, it's like people people would like, I would say something and everybody's spamming wrong. Yeah. Like wrong, fucking idiot, stupid, stupid, wrong. And then I prove it. And I'm like, look, I look it up on Google. It's like, see, it says it right here. They're like, true. 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 <laughs> well, yep. said it was said it was not true. Yep, exactly. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey there, Steak and Eggs listeners. Tectone here. And let me tell you. If you're in the market for some new clothes, you gotta check out otknetwork.com. Our apparel is so good. We've got everything from cozy hoodies to sleek crewnecks to snug joggers. And let me tell you, these joggers are the real deal. I wear them all the time, and they're made with high-quality materials that are built to last. But here's the best part. Use the code STEAK at the checkout for a sweet 15% off your order. That's right. Just type in steak at checkout and watch the savings pile up. So don't wait. Get yourself some fresh new clothes from otknetwork.com and rate the podcast five of five stars. We'll be reading one off per episode. The Steakening TM said, I'll tell you this. This was a podcast. I absolutely loved how in-depth each talking point was so captivating. Like a steak getting cooked over time at the end of it being well done. That was some, some of the hilarious I've been doing. This surely can't break TOS. So I've been going to my friend's chat on Twitch, uh -huh. and I get their chat to spam F yeah. when they're streaming. Right. I've gotten uh, one of my buddies. Is that Senna? Uh, I've done it to Senna. I've done it to Sunny. Uh, I got Zoyle to end his stream <laughs> because he That's fucked oh my up. God. <laughs> so he was playing Mario Kart. He was playing Mario Kart. Uh, he was, like, killing it. He was, like, absolutely killing it. First place in all his races. About to finish up a Grand Prix. And then I get his entire chat to spam F. He pauses the game, but you what the fuck? You can't pause Mario Kart. He's yeah. like, F, what's going on, bro? <laughs> and then he's like, I'm not even F. What are you talking about? And he gets so angry, just slams the stop stream button. Oh, just my to, God. Dude, I, actually, I, I don't actually F my last stream, and you know why? Mm. My Dark Souls death counter script almost bricked my computer. Oh, because it got too high. No. <laughs> oh, my God. No, that's not why. Damn, bro. That's oh my rough. God. Uh, so what I, happened? I can't talk about this anymore. No, Can talk I, about it. Talk about it. I can't. He no. just pissed me off. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't even think about it anymore. My brain. I'm seeing red. You. You. You beat that game, no? You beat Dark Souls. Yes, I beat the game, and I'm about to start Dark Souls three out tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Oh boy. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh boy. Thank God. Really? I've been looking yes. for some new content. You know, I haven't played Dark Souls three. I don't care. <laughs> Do not try to race me. I'm going to enjoy the game. It sounds like we got a race, boys. No, we do not. Tim will be racing himself, and I will be not paying attention. Sounds like we got a race. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, which ones have you put? You didn't play Sekiro. I've not played Sekiro. You played Bloodborne. You know what you should play? You should play Dark Souls 2. I heard that game was dog shit. It bro. is 
absolute ass. Yeah. It's so bad. Like, I've actually, I've been playing this other game. It's called Bleak Faith uh, yeah. Forsaken. Have y'all heard about this? I watched about you play game? that. Yep. I haven't heard of it. It is the biggest piece of shit game that I have ever played, but I won't quit because I don't want the game to beat me. I, d- I don't <laughs> want, I, I, I'm like, because it, it's a, there's so much, like, for example, I put on a new piece of gear and then I open up my inventory and my health goes down. What? Like, what? I, uh, unironically, my health literally went is down. That, is that a bug or is that? I guess. I have no idea. It's a feature. And, and so, like, oh, yeah, yeah, it must be a bug. So I restart the game and, like, these mobs that were killing me in one hit aren't killing me in one hit anymore. So it was literally a fucking bug. And all kinds of stuff like this happens. Uh, let's see. Oh, there was one time, like, so you fight these big monsters and you will get on their back and stab them like Attack on Titan style. Mm. And what happens is that what they used to do, they actually patched this because I complained about it so fucking much, is they would just randomly kill you. Like, you would just be, like, stabbing them and then your health would just go, whoop, dead. (laughs) That was it. And, like, so I've gotten into this fucking, like, I, I don't know if this is some kind of, like, BDSM thing that I'm just playing these games that suck. This sounds I, funny as fuck. I'm going to yeah. be honest. And I'm just, I'm, and, and the thing is like, it's not even like a, Oh, let's play this for fun. I'm mad the whole time. I'm it mad. Is. Like this is, if you're a masochist, you, yes. If you don't like me, this is your favorite stream to watch Yep. because everything's broken. Nothing's working. Uh, you know, Oh, I upgraded a piece of gear. The item disappeared. No way. That's it just d- got deleted. It's just like <laughs> suffering randomizer. Oh no, it was yeah. it was better than that. I upgraded it to have an extra gem socket, and then I put the gem in the gear, and then putting the gem in the gear deleted both the gem and the gear. No. So I wasted way. the upgrade materials, wasted the gem, and the gear's gone. So, uh, so yeah. the, the reason why I have to play Dark Souls 3, uh, because Emmy now said that she's going to play it, right. is because Nobody got how insane my Dark Souls 1 run was until they saw Emmy do it. Okay. Right? And they were like, oh, wow, I thought the game was easy. And then I watched Emmy die on this boss 45 times. Uh-huh. So what I'll do is... is well, I'll- she hasn't played a lot of those games, right? Because, yes, like, for example, and Tectone like, has. You went and you played Elder. Also, okay. there was only one boss I died more than 12 times okay. to. So let me, let me tell you why you're a hypocrite. Because tone, I just don't care. No, I'm just trying do. to enjoy the game and you're trying to ruin it for me. It's okay. fucking annoying. Okay. And then explain the bronze emote in your chat. Because would, you I, because you would come to my chat and talk shit. So my chat was like, well, let's make an emote of his rank since he talks so much shit. So that's your fault too. No, because you know I don't so play. What's this bronze emote? So I am a casual enjoyer of FPS. Right. Okay? So and I, I got, and I got excited because I got promoted to bronze. Okay. So Emmy, Tone, there is no promoting to there is no promoting to bronze in Overwatch. Okay? Th- from bronze four to bronze three, I was excited. Okay, <laughs> my first promotion ever, and then Emmy makes it an emote in her chat. No, I did not make it an emote. My chat did. And who enabled it? Not me. I I don't add any emotes to my chat. You couldn't disable it, Emmy. It's I didn't disable it because it was funny. And, and now there's bronze in every one of my friends' chats. Wow, that's what happens. You you ruined me, Emmy. That's what happens. <laughs> what you get. <laughs> what, okay, rank are, what rank are you in Overwatch? Um, I was gold the previous season that I played. I've peaked in Diamond. And I'm, I'm also a casual FPS player. He plays more FPS than me. He plays Fortnite like every fucking day. Fortnite is third person. Okay, well, it's still oh, a shooter. Totally different. See, and I, I was that totally different. Well, still so you can see your character. See? Oh, okay. So that makes it that makes it way fucking easier. Of way, course. Well, I mean, it makes it, it is. easier for them to kill you. My highest rank in Overwatch is bronze. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that, dude, but then just don't talk shit. This is a thing with Overwatch, is that Overwatch had a bug in it, and I got promoted from Gold 2 to Silver 4. That's not a bug. That's It was a bug, 100%. That's a bug. That's, that's got to be a bug. It's 100% a bug. I know it's a bug. Because like Wait, was it was it this recent? So you like won your like eight games or whatever? I won my seventh game, and I got demoted. And it said, you've received a promotion. And it took me from gold to silver. That has to be a bug. It's a bug. No, well, they they changed it so after your wins, your rank adjusts, but it, it can go down. But it okay, went well, down well, after I won a game. Okay, but what what was your um, like what was your win loss? Probably fifty fifty. I don't know somewhere around. Probably, okay, then, probably then, it's, then it's probably a bug. 
It's a bug. It's a hundred percent a bug, guys. Like I'm telling you, because like ev- no, I know it's a bug. I would love to see the match history to analyze. You know what's funny? I showed it. <laughs> you know what's funny? I know it's not a bug, but I'll still say it's a bug. It's a bug. <laughs> it's it's a bug, guys. It's Trust gotta me. Be like, a bug. I was playing Zarya. Well, they they designed it so in Overwatch, so you you get your wins, and then you can promote or demote. No, it's a bug. No, okay. it's a bug. That, that's the thing. Come on, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's like I don't think so because it's like I won too many games. I was doing too good. I got employee of the game like five times. It's not a problem. Wait, employee of the game? You mean MVP? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, I was popping off. Yeah. But like, I mean, you did, you did though. You did play Elden Ring before any of the Dark Souls. Yeah, I did play Elden right? Ring. Yeah. Okay, which is like Elden Ring is, I would say, harder than any of the other games besides Sekiro. Yeah, I do. I do have. I do have like forty hours on Elden Ring. So yeah. I guess that's. that's and if it makes you feel any better, I mean, he had, he fought against this one boss, and like I, it was going on so long, I went to bed. Millennia. Yeah, you you Mikula. went to bed. I just went. Yeah, I went to bed. You went to bed. That's it was crazy. Like Eight a.m. Yeah, after about the uh, the the five hundredth death, I was like, okay, now I'll remember her name. Yeah, Melania, Blade of Mikula. That's right. That is the most infuriating audio line of all time. I don't know about that. I mean, I think name, name one that's worse. You cannot elude my targeting systems from World of Warcraft. Wait, wait, no. Who is that? Is that uh King Mechagun? And we had an attempt that we had to go through the entire instance without having anybody die, and we brought them this out. guy. Do you get the mount or no? No, it's an essence, but like okay. it's hard mode was for the mount. And so we we got to the last boss and this fucking idiot messed it up. This fucking idiot messed it up. And then we're like, okay, fine. It's okay. We're just going to go back. We're going to do it. And we're just going to get it done. We're going to beat the boss anyway. We spent three hours there. Three hours sitting. You cannot elude my targeting systems. Over and over and over and over. And I see this guy. I'm watching him. And he's going like. <laughs> so he's fucking lagging. He has no idea what he's doing. And then I tell him, I say, if you if I say three, what are you going to do? And he clicks on four. And I'm like, I, I'm I, and we eventually kill it. But it's like it was I don't understand how other people don't get. Inside, I get so mad. My question is, so why didn't you just remove them? Be- it was on streams for content. Oh, for content? I mean, it was for content. Okay, I, I knew that. if I had removed him, everybody would get mad. And it's like we have this weird thing in like Classic WoW. Like, uh, did you play Classic WoW Wrath? Uh, I did for four hours. Okay, so about as much as you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. About that. And <laughs> yep. so, yeah, anyway, so in Old War, there were these people that would join my raid. And I swear to fucking God, they were trying to die on purpose. They probably they were, were. Cause they knew you'd get mad. But, because it's a YouTube clip. Like there's like a, th- it's like a 40 minute video about a mount in this game. And by the way, it's super easy to get mount. But it was the first time it dropped, so everyone's like, oh, oh, oh. and so it had like 600,000 views. <laughs> and after that, everybody starts drama about everything. They're trying to roll on stuff they can't use. They're getting killed constantly. They're saying that like, oh, sorry, it was my cat, you know, or something like that. Oh, my <laughs> bad. Oh, I had that button bound to space bar, so I can't jump. It's like, are you fucking kidding? No, uh, well, the thing that drives me insane is. Oh, my God. It's how so upset. Then if you shit talk them, you get mad. I was in, I was in a League of Legends game, and my bot lane went mm-hmm. 3 and 27 in yeah. 20 minutes. Okay. And I go into my team chat. It is what it is. And I say, I would have rathered rip out my fucking eyeballs and set myself on fire yeah. than play with teammates as dog shit as you. And then I get I get a chat timeout. But what the fuck? These people are so fucking stupid. There's no way to play that bad unless you're trying. Dude, I love League of Legends player insult. They get so creative to avoid the... Ch- Wait, I saw this video on TikTok. It was someone talking about um this player that they met and solo queue hold on i need to pull this up wait it's literally on my thing okay when she says i like you but some random draven and rank said if i could be born again i would be born as cancer then i would roam the earth through the ages until i found you and give you the same thing you gave me in this game (laughs) (laughs) that's so funny man god damn okay i I need you to tell me if i'm fucked up yeah so there are jokes that i think are very funny Uh but i don't know if I'm, if they're supposed to be funny, yeah. So, do you know Crazy Dave from Plants vs Zombies? No. 
Okay, there's this NPC called Crazy Dave in Plants vs. Zombies, and the majority of his dialogue options, if not all of his options, are raw, 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 and he's this yeah. crazy old guy. Um, Plants vs. Zombie memes are the funniest shit, like by far. And then there's this one, oh my God, oh my God. But it'll be like, Crazy Dave, you can't, now that I'm about to say it out loud, <laughs> I know that it's probably not good. It's like, Crazy Dave, you can't speed through a school zone. And then all you hear is the Crazy uh, crazy Dave dialogue option, which is, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> and it's just like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> or, like, or like, there's this one uh, where it's like, the, 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 it's like, Crazy Dave, bro, those aren't zombies. Those are real people. <laughs> and he places the fucking plants down to beam them with the peas to kill them. And it's so funny. Or there's this one, there's this guy called Soldier, or, or uh, Private from Penguins of Madagascar. Uh -huh. and it's this plants versus zombies game and then he wins it and then penguin the penguin's face comes up and it says there's a pipe bomb in your mailbox <laughs> and I'm like what the fuck <laughs> I don't know what it is no it's not fucked up because you, yeah. you like it because it's so out there and dramatic it's just so dumb it's like the non sequitur like fucking extremism yeah. of it yeah, yeah no yeah. i understand oh. it yeah absolutely bro it dude it makes me want to vomit like <laughs> oh i love stuff like that like i remember did you guys hear about that show that velma show this is kind of like old drama but oh yeah, like, people yeah. were uh, really not liking. They that. were really upset about. <laughs> they were this. really not liking. That. So they took it. They they made a Scooby Doo show, and they made the main character Velma, and it was like a self insert of like the writer, and everybody hated the show, and like they had all these like edgy plot lines, and I was really upset because none of them were really edgy, and I was saying like you should have had one of the main characters in a sexual relationship with Scooby Doo. Or you could have Fred join what? ISIS, or something like that. Fred join ISIS? Yeah, yeah. What? Something That's like that. It, it, like crazy. at least we'll ha have something fun, right? It's in a school. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you could have again. Half of my ideas of plot lines in this would be TOS. Yep. So it's like that's the fun stuff to me. But like I hate nowadays whenever people pretend like something is edgy, but it's actually the safest shit imaginable. I need to show you this. Image. It makes me so upset. This is the meme. Uh huh. Dude, I see it. It's so <laughs> yep. funny, bro. It kills me. Oh God damn! I'm oh, I knew crying. the character you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm actually crying. Holy fuck! So when I message people on Discord now, yeah. I did. There's this. There's this emote where it's the point at you emote, mm -hmm. and then the stare emote, and then a bomb emoji <laughs> whenever I want to play games with people, bro. It's so funny to me. I need to stop. It's bad, bro. That's a threat, bro. That's is it? Threat. No. Oh, okay. I only do it to my close homies. I, I, I never, I never say anything. It sounds crazy. I never say anything bad that I would worry about getting leaked. Yeah. Like anything that gets leaked that I say, it's like, yep, that's right. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. Same. And, and like that's right. And it's like some of it's not that good, but what the fuck? Or, oh yeah. So you have a, a second channel. Did you ever? Like, you probably don't now, but like I have um like alt twitter like like i'll stream on like other channels sometimes and people will be like oh don't like you shouldn't like talk about this because like what if someone clips it it's like i know or i wouldn't fucking <laughs> say it yeah like <laughs> i don't care well there are people that treat their second channel like it's their own little private diary with all their little you know their close little circle of friends and then somehow yeah, that's, dangerous. It gets friends. that's dangerous yeah it gets leaked and then now it's a big deal but no i think it's yeah definitely like yeah just don't say it if you don't want people talking about it don't say it Yep. Easy solution. And now, a word from our sponsors. All right, so we actually have another set of the My Hero collectible card game. Uh, you have the base set, My Hero Academy of base set. You have uh, Heroes Clash, and then I have Crimson Rampage. And these look good. And I'm about to open the entire box right now. So it says Quirk Act. So quirks are like the powers in the show? Yeah. Okay. Right on top of mine, I have a, I got a Midnight shiny card oh wow like, do you like midnight she's cool i think she's dope as hell that's sick all might is personally my favorite character all right i'm gonna see if i can open my entire box in 90 seconds wait it says capture evildoers and it's just got a guy with a bottle of a liquor <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's that's all might oh that is that's all might yeah dude isn't he sick yeah he is yeah wow Okay. You, you ever seen you ever seen my hero i mean yeah i have i watched up to season the end of season three i think 
Who's your favorite antagonist? My favorite antagonist? Because there was what? There was Overhaul, there was Stain, there was Shigaraki, uh, All for One. Wait, this is a girl or name? Well, Shigaraki is cool. Shigaraki's dope. Oh, what yeah. Some Jiro. She's, she's, she's got like a aux cords for ears. Yeah. Oh, so she can, it's she not like, like she's a robot or anything. No. Nah, she can just hear stuff like crazy. I just got the, this is like actually the coolest Togo card. What would you get? No, wait, you get a Togo card? What did I see it? Oh, that actually is dope as hell. Yeah, I've had a I've had a lot of people do that, especially like because I will talk about stuff on my second channel, and they'll be like, "Oh man, I can't wait to clip this." Oh man, <laughs> they think oh. it's like a, a secret. Like they're yeah. the only ones who know about it's it. It's like, oh, it's a secret. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I guess you're new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Before before the the bomb wave trend got me. Yeah. With my shit. It was the drunk driving trend. Oh yeah. That got me. It was there's this image of this tree called the wise tree. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what would make the drive home just a little bit more interesting? A Dos Equis. And I'm yeah. like, bro, I don't know what it is. It's I don't know if it's, <laughs> it's like new wave edgy humor. The tree? Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the tree, bro. It's just the dumbest shit. Is, wait, is that the tree from Kirby? No. No, oh, it's, it's not the tree from one. Kirby. It, there was this okay. one mobile ad where it was like, yeah. if you're above 26 years old, you have to play this mobile game ad. You'll get addicted. And there's just this image of this this fucking tree with this face. Wait, yo, Jay, can you pull up Wise Oak Tree? I uh I had an ad and it was like I keep getting these furry ads. I don't know why. They're, like, ta they're targeted. That's all ads saying. all ads are targeted. That's the thing, is like I don't understand why. Because Wait, that reminds, did you see that screenshot of Elon Musk? Like he replied to some thing on Twitter it was like plus size women's lingerie and he was like, Oh great, Twitter's like showing it's like, dude, it's your company. What do you Oh great Wait, what about what was it? It was like plus size women's underwear and he was like, Oh great, Twitter's showing me ads for women's un like underwear though the plus size part was right though there yeah. it is <laughs> oh my shit that's so <laughs> crazy oh my god the face kills me it was a mobile game ad everywhere dude holy shit i feel like there is like some humor like that like yeah. that either hits like completely on the mark or yeah. you're like Anybody that laughs at this is a fucking idiot. Like, what is it? like there's, there's no middle ground where it's like, yeah, I can see where this is funny. It's like you either get it or you don't get it. Yeah. My problem is I get it too much. Yeah. Like there's very rare things that absolutely make me lose my shit, but a wise oak tree. Yeah. That is the funniest shit on earth, bro. Well, you wise have oak trees and crazy that, Dave. What's you up? have an emote of that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yep, it, dude, and simply took that shit and he edited yeah. it to all hell. I love that. Wait, game. how do you know that? I thought you didn't have 7 TV or BTTV. Did you add Because it? some fucking idiot was like trying to tell me to add it. And they were like, Little add man. this emote. And I saw the emote and I'm like, this is the stupidest fucking thing <laughs> I've ever seen. So you knew it was a Tectone emote? No, I had no idea it was a Tectone emote. I just, I, like, it was, it was on like 7 TV or something like that. So like, look it up, man. It's so funny. And it's just this tree. <laughs> okay so question would you ever want to try one stream yeah where you just had a bunch of emotes in your chat would you ever want to try it one time just to see how it felt maybe i mean like i just don't think it's that big of a deal like what why is this such a big deal like what why do people care so much about emotes because it's fun to farm them i just i don't understand that okay like yeah. in my channel there are people that will type a paragraph and i will read the paragraph uh, see, I would actually love that. Straight up, I will read the paragraph. They'll give me some long, and then I'll ban them afterwards, right? Because yep. it's probably like n nobody typing a paragraph is agreeing with you, okay? Like, and, and so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they don't like you. So, yeah, of course I do that. But, yeah, no, I, I never really got into the whole emote culture as much. I don't know. Like, I, I, it sounds insane, but I actually like the W community chat culture more with, like, Ws and Ls. I hate that shit. Really? It's so irritating. I think that they're like, and all they type is LMAO. And then depending on how funny it is, that's how many O's there are. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Most chats have a lot of emotes now, but I mean, it is like a completely different vibe when a chat has no emotes. It was the same for like the Minecrafters. Like they like none of them used emotes. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. would just type. Uh, the WL, it's not that I mind the community. It's just that the WL, I just find it annoying. Oh, right. Really? I'd rather just be like a cute little emote. You know? I, th I think like, like I'm, I'm a big pog guy okay you know pogs like the dude komodo hype the new pog champ is like the greatest emote ever made i think it is the worst i don't like it i hate it why you like komodo hype it's stupid it's, it's just, so stupid. no it's just, don't say that it's so forced nobody wanted it nobody needed it twitch just gave it to us and there wasn't a vote 
I love it. I voted for it. You did? I, yeah, I voted for it. Well, then why does everybody just keep using Pog instead? Be- I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, think about that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I would not. I hate that fucking emote. Like, there's so many emotes on Twitch. It, I sound like such a, like a crotchety old man. The more that I talk about emotes, because I just hate so many of them. But what else they do you hate? They make me so mad. Well, oh, which ones do I hate? Yeah. Name it. Uh, Bible thump. I just, I, 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 no, because sometimes I do hate that one because like if I kick somebody out of a raid yeah. or I'm mean to them and they deserve it <laughs> and everybody yeah. type Bible thumb. Yeah. So I hate that one. Okay. Uh, K Kona. Oh. Bro, K Kona's hilarious, dog. Okay. Uh, that one's all right. Yep. Like, look at him, dude. He's so, so excited, dumb. dude. You don't He's like so him? so dumb. He's so excited. He's not excited. He's about to eat a fly. <laughs> no, don't say that, man. Yeah, that's all. It's just. There's no reason for this. Like, what the fuck is this? It's a very like, show, show this to somebody and be like, what does this mean? And it's like, I don't know. He's hungry. Nobody will understand it. Wait, want me to show you something crazy? What? Yo, Jay, can you pull up um, an image of the country Croatia? Can you pull that up real quick? I was going to segue back into this. Okay. Uh, after the image. Uh, do you think, um, do, you like, do you like the emote blood trail? No. Uh, yeah, that Croatia on the map right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. It's Komodo hype. No, that's a dinosaur. No, dude. <laughs> that's no, because he has the horn on his nose. Dude, I took... That's a di- That's a 100%. That's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dude, I took... That's a, that's a dinosaur. There's no way. It's not the same. It's Komodo hype, bro. There's no way. Dude, I took I took the image of Croatia. Now I have an emote in my chat called Croatia hype. It's the coolest shit, dude. This is why I don't have emotes. <laughs> why, man? This is, this is, no, this is dumb. Is, this, is it too brain rot? Do you have any dumb emotes in your chat? Oh, yeah, a ton. Like, like Ron's. It hurts. That one sucks. What is going on? Wait, wait, wait. Which, which one sucks? The bronze one, the tecton one. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, we right. we were talking about that earlier. I can't believe that you can't get out of bronze. I could. I just don't care to. So you just like just playing and fucking so around. I never play games to get better. Really? I just play games casually enough until I know. How nash- long did you practice that smite tournament? Uh like two, three days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And which was crazy because people were saying we practiced way more. They did. Which was just a straight up lie. I don't know. Because I only practiced on stream. Mm-hmm. Uh and then I think the sweatiest thing I did was I went into VR chat and then I got a bunch of chicks in VR chat to like wear like well, uh, let me rephrase that. I got yeah. people in female avatars. Right, yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah. To, uh, like, have scantily clad avatars while I sat in the theater and I watched Smite beginner guide videos. Okay. But the other thing is, like, two of the people who we were supposed to have that Smite tournament dropped two days before the tournament. Really? We had to get two completely new people, and one of them couldn't even fucking talk. Why? Because they were a mute. What? Yeah, they were, they were... So is a mute literally just somebody who doesn't talk? Yeah. So pretty much a long time ago, there's this uh, guy, his, his, his bones are made of glass. Uh, his name is Robert Malecki, Rafflegator. Uh, oh. He, he okay. created this new wave of people who weren't allowed to talk in VR chat. So that way they could just be sexy on stream and not interrupt it. The problem is people identify with that so much so that they just don't talk in real life anymore, not just in VR chat. So they, they do that outside of VR chat too? You like in like a Discord call? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. They'll just not talk still. Which, like, by the way. They invite me in, and they're sitting there for three hours, and they say nothing. No, I'm not even kidding you. There's this person. How, well, what if all the mutes were actually FBI agents? That's what I think. Okay. Dude, there's this person, and their name, they're in my Discord, their, their name is Kitsa. And I've known them for, like, a year now. Yeah. They don't go in VR chat, and they still just sit in Discord call every day, and they don't say anything. Well, they, like, type, right? Or no? They just type. Hmm. That's it. They probably just don't have a mic. They have a mic. I don't know. There were a lot of girls that didn't have mics back in the old Warcraft days. Yeah, those were. Was yeah. There was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot, dude. That's crazy. I don't know. I think that the uh, the, the mute thing is just that's, uh, yeah, they just don't talk and that's it. Because I remember there was one mute that apparently got really popular and then they finally were like, okay, I'm going to start talking. And it was a guy. Yep. There you go. Big fucking surprise. You know what's crazy about that Smite tournament? What? I literally went up. You really, you're really going to suck your own dick about this even more. Go ahead. So I'm like fucking insane at Smite, right? Right. Like I'm like the best player. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The oh, team we get. He, he won this. I did. 
Easy money, by the way. Uh, by the way, I saved that event because if I did not win, that event was going to be garbage. Because that other guy that won was like a serious player or something? No, yeah, the other guy, Dave, had like 3,000, yeah. 4,000 hours on and was playing with like Grandmaster League players. Uh -huh. And then I literally just picked up four of my closest friends and I was like, you want to play a tournament? Yeah. And then we practiced for like three days. Then you guys won. And we won and we clapped. We did not, we went eight and oh wow didn't Holy even lose shit. it was nuts and you know what i went back and played smite i'll say it bro i'm kind of nasty i've watched emmy play smite oh, Emmy's good at smite. yeah I well i mean smite's kind of similar to league so yep. and I've, I've played a fuck ton of league yeah like your star scream gameplay yeah well yeah. the only thing that i don't like that was hard is like i don't care for like the the third person pov that was like really hard to get used to for yeah. me it is very hard to get used to third person when you play first person all the time Wait, isn't league third person what's the difference well it's like bird's eye view okay so oh it's too it, it close feels, yeah, yeah yeah i hate that too yeah absolutely yeah. totally it, it is weird how like different it is going because like league is better the same game but it's literally like one is third well i mean i guess it's a different pov but like going from third to first is like i don't it's it, it shouldn't be hard but it just is and i don't know why but smite still like just i'm just a macro player so like even though mechanically it's different you just look at the map understand where people are and then you just play according to that and just being at the right place at the right time it just feels cool like that's how i play league yeah. That's probably why I'm stuck in gold. Well, actually, no, I'm stuck in silver, which is rough. I genuinely think there's this guy who said, I, I, I think his name is like DeMontes or something, where it's like... Uh, You're talking about Dante's, are you? I might be talking about Dante's. Oh, the league player? Not? Wait, should I not? No, Dante's is a character. Oh, okay. So he, the, the league player? Yeah, he's a league yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. And he says that, and I, and I actually believe him, that like the autofill is meant to make people lose to control win rates, to keep player retention of the game, like only allowing you to rank up like at certain increments besides like absolute freaks like Tyler one. Yeah, yeah. Who will just, oh my God, his you, journey. You to get autofilled a lot? Yes. I almost never get autofilled. What is autofill? So, um, is that like whenever somebody leaves during a game? So for, it used to be in league, um, you would just queue up, get in a lobby with five people, and then you would like say what role you wanted to play. Sometimes like you'd get lucky and everyone played like different roles sometimes you'd be in a lobby with like five mid laners and then you just have to deal with it pretty much and like pick order yeah so now they made it so you queue for the role you want to play but that wasn't really working out because some roles are way more popular than others yeah, yeah. so they made it so you have to put a secondary yeah and so you usually get your first or your secondary but occasionally you'll get auto filled and get one that's neither of those and it's like you just got to deal with it pretty much or did they make it so oh, now your wow. secondary is auto fill second is auto okay so you might get your secondary which isn't the role that you want but it's like one that you pick yeah, yeah like, like for example like i jungle at probably like a high gold level, mm -hmm. I top land at like a low. Yeah, well, okay, well, I I switch between two roles, so that's probably why I never got auto fill. See, I can't do that. Okay, yeah. jungle makes sense. No other role makes sense to me. I can only jungle. That is it. I Isn't don't. Isn't jungle the one where you just go around and kill mobs? Yeah, well, you kill mobs and you gank people. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I understand how to like gank very effectively, but like laning. Yeah. It's I don't get the way I don't, there's a one thing that I don't get I don't get how to control a minion wave I don't understand how to make it crash I don't understand how to balance it out just play support support is like probably the, the did easiest you ever play or the RTS? second easiest role did you what's ever play that RTS like, oh like real time oh like Starcraft three, yeah Starcraft because uh, if you had played that you probably would be a lot better at, at dealing with the lanes I played Warcraft too okay Wait, so. i think that's the one where it's like goes doom boom 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 yes. boom boom you know the song oh yes <laughs> that song is uh, so Tucky, good you should just play support supports like basically a second jungler once laning's over you know have to farm and oh. support is like second most impact on the game something about that just doesn't feel right why he said you should probably play support it just feels too familiar why? i don't like it familiar to what i don't know what people, people who suck get told to go play support i mean i don't like that well it's because support is like a role where you have like um like you don't have to like farm or anything, but you still have a lot of responsibilities, right? So like support, you can get away with doing less, but you won't climb by doing that. Like there's still like a big gap between a good support and a bad support. I, just, I don't know. Like if I were to tell my homie, like you should probably play Yumi. I feel like it hit me in the face. Okay, but the, I'm not telling you I to know, play support kidding, kidding, because I think you suck. Yeah. It's because you say you don't know how to lane and you like playing like a and high impact role that goes around the map that's literally support and league if you play it that oh, way oh wait no shit you're right maybe i should give up on top yeah no well 
if you like top, then don't. But I mean, I really just play, just play jungle support. Dude, sometimes I just get absolutely bodied. So the people that are playing league competitively, do they only play one role? Like usually, role? usually yes. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, usually So yes. like you play a game and a competitive game, you're playing for like 10 hours a day, one part of one game. Yeah, but there's like uh, there's like forty characters to pick from per roll. That is crazy. No, it's awesome though. It's okay. so awesome. Like jungling is the funnest shit ever. You don't you don't really play any games like League, right? I have played Heroes of the Storm a little bit. So good. I got to rank one, which was the highest rank. No yep. way. And then it was not hard. Uh, it was I, I I did that, and then I got called the N word seven times by one person who was trying to solo the enemy nexus yep and i asked myself why am i playing this game yep and i quit every i had enough almost every game of here is this one i played somebody was disconnected yeah it's the worst oh no people just don't care like they because that's the it's like the easy dumbo version of league <laughs> like everybody it is. Stupid it is. plays this Wait, game you, you know what happened with their pro league right nothing <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll tell you but finish your story no no i mean like i thought nothing happened because it's like nobody gave, gave a shit no okay so what happened was like they like created a pro league and people were like making teams and like players were getting signed like that was like their job and shit then one day they were just like we're not doing this anymore shut down oh yeah just, like, oh yeah, no, no yeah, 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 yeah yep that i remember that day and it's like they were like guys listen uh we're just gonna basically like listen it's a bad game you know it i know it everybody knows it <laughs> We're done. <laughs> We're done. Fuck this. Go back and play league. We're throwing in the towel. I know. I felt bad for him, but uh, I mean, Heroes of the Storm. It was just a, uh, just a kind of a dead game. Who'd you play in Heroes? Uh, I played Zeratul, Nova, uh, Vala, uh, Muradin, Anubarak, and uh, maybe one other one. That's I actually a wacky pool because I thought you were saying you like to play Assassins with Zeratul and Nova. Yeah, the, uh, those are my main characters, and then they ner they nerfed Nova, and mm -hmm. then I was very upset. I played um Varian like one shot people, Varian Ren and uh, Butcher. Yeah, Butcher was the grip. Butcher was sick. Yeah, like oh my, collecting the meat was nuts. I thought about playing League. I've thought about it. It's just that, like, I already hate myself enough playing these other games that are bad. League is probably the worst of like those style of games in really? terms of like, it affecting people mentally. Why? Like, I mean, I, wh why would it make you mad more than like Valorant? More than Valorant? Yeah. I, well, I mean, with games like that, like it's a lot of different things. It's like pacing, player base, like the like champions, like characters. Like, I just feel like okay. League's the worst. So okay. I think League is awful when you're not five stacked. I feel like five stack is always fun. But the thing that really blows is about League is that you can get stuck into a game that you know you're going to lose. Yeah. And then it goes on for 40 minutes. Yep. And no I matter what you do. Yeah, that, that was what I meant when I said pacing. Uh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. I, I've raided in World of Warcraft. Talk about 40 minutes. That's a four-hour raid night. Yep. And at the end of the night, you know you're not going to kill that boss. And then if you do, and, you ain't getting loot. Yeah, you ain't getting shit. It's not going to drop. You don't even need anything off the boss. And so, no, that won't bother me at all. Uh, it's just that the, the gameplay would, would piss me off, I think. I don't know. Like I, I watched like I watched my ex-girlfriend play and I would sit behind her and backseat her and tell her everything to do. I and I never played the game before. And so I'm like, well, why didn't you just kill that guy? Well, why are you killing him? Oh, did you miss that one? Oh, you missed the minion. So you so you didn't get gold for that? You didn't level up? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, that sucks. That's too bad. So finally she had enough. She was like, I'm so fucking sick of this. And so she put me on there. She's like, You're gonna play the game. I'm like, I don't wanna play the game. I don't like it. She's like, I don't care. You're gonna play the game. So I finally had to sit down. I played the game and she had to actually stop me because my death ratio was so high. She was worried that she was going to get reported. No, so it was like way. zero. And 18. That's so zero and 18. Yeah. She thought she was going to get reported for feeding. Dude, you know what I did to solve uh, loot drama for World of Warcraft? Because I guild, uh, I guild led and I raid led every guild I was ever a part of. We always did very well um given we were on less popular servers so you know other yeah. sort of guilds are better uh but i told my entire guild that the loot is not for making yourself stronger it's for making us stronger right that's why you get it all i got a lot of gear <laughs> yeah, it's out hey look it, you gotta be on the team right i mean you're on the team so it makes sense you get the gear because the gear's on the team but but it but it worked yeah. though because we gave the best players 
the best shit. And then all of them got gear just as quick because then yeah. we would kill it every single time. We'd progress way oh, no, faster. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But I, I will admit, being top DPS as the tank was fucking awesome. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like you got a lot of gear. <laughs> I got a lot of gear, dude. So we have the uh do we still have the cards that we're gonna do? Are we gonna do the uh yeah, oh, we yeah, have yeah. our first sponsor today? Yeah, we actually have cards. Oh, and I also yeah. but first I have to read a review. Okay. From uh, our Apple podcast. Apple podcast listeners. Yeah, this was a comment March 10th, 2023. Uh, and we try to read one comment from the Apple podcast every week. So if you want to go there, uh, download the episode, listen to it there, leave a comment. We can read your comment uh, next week. This is from Nurax275. And it says, I bought an iPhone for this. Five out of five stars podcast. $800 and one failed marriage later. And I'm able to listen to this show while walking my dog. Let's go. Amazing. That's, I think, good. That's it's very yeah, good. Is that good? Okay, That's so yeah, good. It's so good. All right. Yeah, it was a little bit of mixed yeah. messages there. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. Guys, uh, we've had a very good episode. We've had a lot of fun. And uh, I want to say thank you for watching. This is now, I didn't even know this, but it's our sixth episode. Yep. yep. Holy shit. Oh, I don't you know if we that. said... We have another guest coming on next week. Yep. Oh, and our our next guest is a uh, art streamer of the year, Meat Canyon. Yep. He's going to be with us in the studio next week. We're going to be talking to him. It's going to be cool. I can't wait. Awesome. There's going to be two streamer award winners in the same show. And two what? that are not. Isn't that crazy? Well, Sick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I, I think we're pretty much good to go, right? Yeah, I besides. Mean, is there anything else that we need to, to sell out for? Yep. Yeah, if you're still here, yeah. we're coming up on 100,000 subs. So make sure to like, yes. comment, and subscribe. And hit the yes. bell for all notifications if you haven't done so already. There you go. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Peace. Then you turn and you look at me. There's a little glimmer that